So what's this? Enough. Election overview. Yeah, there you go. That's the one for. But the should we get JNN on this? All right. Election overview. Do I do a new tab? So what do I do for the title? What is an election overview? No, right. That's no, no, dumb. no. So go to the, your notes there. It's in different sections. So that's gonna be crazy. It's not gonna be crazy. But how do I? I don't. I, I want to paste this because these are my notes already. I'll do this. I'll do factors likely to impact the outcome. Yeah, I think you can copy and paste from your phone to your laptop there. What? Yeah. Factors do likely it. to impact. Impact. Yep. Outcome. There you go. Should I do it in a capital O? Yeah, right. Yes, everything in your title should be capital. And then how do I do the copy paste? So drag down whatever you want to put on there. I want to put this whole so thing on copy. there. Copy copy and then click command v command v nope your laptop's not connected no shit it's, it's not connected i knew that i'll email it to you why email you put it in there your thing's connected you know what i mean you got the access i don't got the access you say i don't know how to do a powerpoint jerry jerry you this is i, I needed to copy and paste it into there for you you had that issue with with the what other are you doing? one in the states i'm making it smaller so you can look at it okay that's good now how do i get oh look at this look at this look this is what i'm talking about well now why is that then you can you can type it all in and then change the size after that'll make it easier dude when's the last time you think you did a powerpoint Never. Lucas, it's doing it again. I can reformat it after for you. Climate is a topic? How is climate a topic? Climate's a it doesn't even issue. snow. It doesn't even snow anymore. That's the issue. <laughs> Jerry, I think you actually are a liberal. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. I'm a liberal? I think so. Buddy, I am I'm one of those but I don't so far right guys that like I don't even I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just know I'm right. Did it again. Did it again. Dude, this is so fucked. Boom. Okay, and then that has to get spaced down. Why is it going to that? Dude, do you see what's going on here? Yeah. Look, it's not, even, it's not even going on the thing. That's what happens, see what I mean? The thing that's fucked up about my notes, I have the key victory for Trump. Yeah, right? you don't have I don't have Kamala. the key victory for Kamala. Keys to victory for Donald J. Trump. Keys to victory for Kamala, H A R R I S. It was two S's. No one S. H A R R I S. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know how to use a laptop, dude. What are we looking? I at? got some great notes. Last night I took a lot of notes. Okay. Show them your powerpoints. You want to see the powerpoints, Big T? I want to be surprised. Okay, fair, surprised. fair. I like it. I like it. I like that. I don't got nothing on Kamala here to victory. What's going on? What are the five keys though? Hold her ground with black and Latino voters. Yes. Abortion powers. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's essentially meaning like girls who want to get abortions are going to vote for Kamala, right? Yes. Gotcha. So check with that on presidents. If you want an abortion, you're probably going to vote for Kamala or no? Um, you don't have to, but again, this is your PowerPoint. If that's what you want to add to it, yes. I can just say that, though. Too. Yeah, you could just say that. Neutralize Trump on the economy and immigration. I like that. That's a good one. Deliver on a superior ground game. What the fuck does that mean? So we've got, this is the first one, Electoral College yeah. by Jersey Jerry. A swing state. What is a swing state? Do that. Let me see my notes. See if I got anything else on the notes. Yeah. Okay, uh, I got nothing there. Presidential. Financial activity for all presidential candidates 2023-2024. Money moves. Is that good? Yeah. I'll go move my car. Oh, that's, that's really nice of her to say, but also, get your fucking car out of my side. You know what I mean? Wow, I didn't know I won. Oh, this is depressing. Oh, dang, I don't have the keys on me, so that's actually yeah. a really uh, nice. So I knew that my month was up and I still parked there today because the cars.com spot is truly wow. the best spot here and I'm very sad. Do I have to, I have to park all over the line when I park here? <laughs> I'm, to get to the next spot. I'm the best employee we got. Like in general? Yeah. I voted at for what? You. If all I have to do is show up and make a few jump shots, I really will have this for, for years. God, is there another flood That's approaching, dude? Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you why don't you fucking park three blocks away? You have a lot of time to think of more jokes as you're walking to work every day. Whereas I will be parking right next to the front door. Congratulations. You wanna you wanna buy it off me? I don't have a car. Ooh, Stefan! You wanna buy them point? <laughs> he gets here, we get here at the same time, Stefan. No, I know, that's why I'm saying we don't ever need it. If everyone else got there at the same time, then there would be an issue. 
Exactly. But also, is everybody getting here at normal like, time? No. It's a little primo spot. You can come late now. You don't need to get here so early. I'm gonna miss the first half of Mostly Sports every day now, because I know I'm gonna have a spot. I'm, there's no need to rush in. I can take my time getting in here. Still get, still get the front row spot. I will say, when I do come into this office, I'm, I'm, I come in at the worst time because I, I'm, I'm not the first one in here, but I'm, I come early enough that I expect a front row spot and I oftentimes don't get one. If I was someone that was like coming in at noon every day, you don't expect a front row spot. But I come in right in that window where I, I know, every time I come to work, I don't know if I'm gonna get the front row spot or not. So this month will be nice. This will be nice. This will be a nice change of pace that I can not stress about having to walk an extra 100 feet. Oh, this is gonna be great. Three, two, one, go. Get it. Let's go! This guy's an asshole. This sucks. I hear Nick laughing. What? Go. 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 Just has to go in. Or you don't have to dribble. Yep. Go, 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 go. What's up, Coach? Dan. How are you doing? Right. Hey, He's complaining about the traffic already. Oh my God. Well, I mean, yeah, you know the Chicago I traffic. Know. Yeah. They're, they're, like they say, there's two seasons, and one of them is yeah. fucking construction. This is the spot. Pretty nice. No, no shit. Yeah. Kind of have like a almost like a D3 uh, college basketball facility here. <laughs> so do you guys go home? Or just yeah, uh, I I <laughs> I go home and then I bring my kids here on the weekend. This is so awesome. yeah. What was the genesis of, of the whole idea? We were in New York. I always wanted to move back to Chicago. I don't know if you remember, you probably don't watch a ton of TV, but there was a guy named Rob Deerdeck who still does his stuff. But he had in like 2006 he had a show called Robin Big where he had this huge warehouse in California and they would just like fuck around the whole time. And I was like, <laughs> I want that. So that's a full golf simulator. Do you golf? Oh yeah. All right, so you'll get on it. We can get on Pebble Beach later. Been there. <laughs> yeah. I grew up uh, out there, so yeah. I know what it was like. God, that's awesome. I mean, yeah. God, Lee, you got I mean, first. Yeah, it's pretty much a dream to be able to come in here every day. This is the full kitchen with all the, um, everything's wired, so everything has, uh, we do all the videos here. We have a chef who cooks, so everything. So wait a minute, so you don't, you don't really have any takeout? We, have, we do take out too. Okay. We'll just do take out tonight. Just curious. Do you have a, 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 a oh, yeah. spot first you love? Oh, yeah. First of all, you got, at least got to get a hot dog. Yeah. Got what's to, your favorite hot dog place? Oh, um, what's, I'm, I'm drawing a fucking blank. I was just thinking. Portillo's? Yep, Portillo's. Yeah. And then Malnati's Pizza. Yep. All right, we can do that for oh, dinner. Oh, yeah. Deep yeah, dish. Yeah, Are you kidding? That? Deep dish. Got to yeah. do the deep dish. We'll do it. <laughs> this really is cool. Yeah, this is our studio um, where we'll do, we'll do the interview. You've been on our show before when yeah. we came to uh, Washington. By the way, you know, which is a very funny coincidence, on Tuesday night I had a meeting with uh, Blake Griffin and Ryan Khalil. Oh, yeah. So I think we're going to get in involved in that. Oh, really? You're involved oh, in it, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fucking awesome. Isn't that crazy? That they were like, I was like, who's going to awesome. be in on it? Because they were like, oh, Kittle, Olsen, you know, Greg is a like, longtime friend of ours, and Kittle is as well. And then they're like Ron Rivera, and I was like, he's literally coming to our office on Thursday. I gotta tell you a great story about. I'm, I'm and I'm see, I'm, I'm having breakfast with Ryan on Monday. Oh, nice. So, Greg Olson, I knew he was destined for 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 doing television. We are flying home after a a, uh, a game. It was a December game, Christmas. It actually was Christmas Eve, I think it was, against the Chargers. And so my wife was going to fly back with us. So she's on the plane. She's sitting up front with me. And, she, and we're just about to take off. She goes, what's all that noise back there? I said, it's Greg Olson. She said, that's Greg? I said, that's Greg Olson. She said, no way. I said, oh, yeah. So we take off, and about an hour into the flight, she says, you know, it's getting louder. I said, well, he's moving forward. She goes, moving forward? Yeah, as the guys fall asleep, he's moving forward looking for people that <laughs> to are To talk awake. to. <laughs> oh, yeah. So then I said, don't worry. He'll be here probably in about an hour. So now we're about two and a half, three hours into the flight. All of a sudden, he is in first class. That's so good. It's, I mean, but it was Greg. Yeah, that's Greg. That's He's Greg. the best. Yeah, I mean, he was. Um, he loves he, to communicate. Yeah, and he was he was the like very first guy who was a fan of Barstool, uh, like athlete, like back oh, wow. in like 2010, 
ten, yeah. and uh, oh, like we used to do his kickball tournament and Grant Oh yeah, Park. that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, and we, uh, you know, and like he's like he's like patient zero for the NFL. Where like he got Jay into it, I became good <laughs> friends with Jay, and like yeah, Greg is the best. We've known him forever. There's about eight studios, um, so everything's just going all the time here, which is awesome. Hey guys, good morning. Get to do what you love. Yeah, talk ball, hang out. Oh, I gotta show you one thing that you'll uh, get a kick out of. So, you, I mean, you, you obviously coached in uh, in Indy every now and then, you know, when they played the Colts. Uh -huh. This is the actual banner that they put up that we made fun of for so long that Ursay sent it to us. So that was the banner that was in Lucas Oil, the the, the we finished second in the AFC banner. Is he, he a good dude? Yeah, he is. He is so we, we made fun of him so much about it that he. Uh, he said it. That's awesome. All right, can right. you ask him to coach the Bears yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got questions about the Bears. What's going on? Did you report to, to Ron Rivera? He's, he's the guest? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Pretty fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> River about Ron. Yeah. That's fucking great. Analytic Ron. Where's he at? He's in the, in the oh, That's awesome. He's going to watch the games with us tonight on the stream. Seriously? Yeah. You're lying. No, I'm not. He's staking for the stream. Serious? Yes. <laughs> that's that's cool. Yeah, I know. Get your questions ready. No babies. No babies. You can. I, I don't want to listen. You know me. All right, but here's the thing. It's not. It's You've not, been slacking. It's nine thirty. I judge it by nine. Okay. So if it's an eight or eight thirty call time, bagels. Nine. It's like people probably ate. Gotcha. gotcha. Don't you agree? No, no, man. I'm gonna have some stuff blue. Okay. How, How you doing, man? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. 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 Welcome to the Pro Football Football Show, week 10 of the NFL. We have a very special guest, Coach Ron Rivera. Yes. We're so excited. So excited. The, the boys were just buzzing knowing that you were coming in, so we're very happy to have you talk and ball. This oh. guy's computer. I know. Yeah, oh, guy's computer. computer. I, I, tell, oh I tell you, Josh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't stop about being prepared, so I said, well, okay. I started doing stuff. I got notes, the whole thing. I love he it. He was killing me. He was killing me. And I walk in and just find you guys just shoot from the hip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have Kamala Trump chop. We'll get Harry Sisson. It's gonna be. We got college football on tomorrow night. We got CFP ranking show. Dancing with the stars. No, nobody said that. I got. I got all my my powerpoints ready. It's gonna. This is this is the first time he's gotten to his laptop in how long? I don't know, a long time. Years. The camera campaign just called. What they say? They said that your vote didn't go through. They need you to go again. Deal. What are the chances our stream gets shut down tonight? From the higher uh, ups. Jared, right you, could, you could make history by by calling the election super early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like just just put it out there. It's over. You gotta be kidding. Well, Second straight week of doing JAD and, and there's no no food we budget. We don't have a food budget. I mean it is what it is. So let me get this straight. Yeah. If I hang out with JJ not work related, yeah. you'll you'll buy me dinner, but yes. but I come on your show for work. Because it's work, it's different. There's no budget for that. We got uncrossables though. You know right. what it is. Mm. Biden's America. It is tough. It's tough. It's tough here. COVID. COVID ruins this country. I got McDonald's. Oh, Eight. you got McDonald's for I, yourself and ate it. I ate lunch. I'm done. Oh, my God. Game time. Big day. Purple tie. Red and blue. Just rooting for both teams. Have a good game. Should be fun. Here comes JJ. Just hoping for a good ball game. Where's my Where's my map? Where's my? I I've got uh, I've got the PowerPoint. It's gonna go on It'll there. It'll go up on there. Okay. So be like, hey. So like, I'll do all on. the PowerPoint. Yeah, we're just gonna start off the rip with you guys here. This, go up is, to this the, is intense. You won't be able to see yourself, but if you have a question, just ask me. Well, how do I look? Good. You look good. You look, good. How do I look? Yeah. You look guys look great. I'm glad you guys both got suits. It looks legit. It's... I'm gonna make this seem like I bought on Big T because I don't know much. Should no, I do no, that? No, no, no. You pretend like you know the most. Oh, okay. Yeah. You yeah, want me to you, do that? You are dressed up professional. Okay, like, okay. You guys look great. You guys look like you should be talking like this. It's set up in a way where you okay, look like Okay, so that's the plan. Okay, yeah. okay, gotcha. This isn't, this isn't no rinky-dinky okay. Jerry after dark. Gotcha. This isn't a joke. This is big okay. time. Yeah, three hours commercial free. I think it's a big, yeah. that's kind of fun. Um, that's a long time. It that's is. A long, that's a long time. Do you guys have any questions for me? No, I'm ready to go. All right, we're live. We're live. Welcome in. Welcome in. First edition, exclusive on the JNN Network, the Jerry News Network. We got three hours of commercial-free election coverage, and I'm here with my partner in crime, 
Big Tennessee. Big First Tennessee. of all, JJ, pleasure to be here with you. This exciting night, mm -hmm. exciting night. We also got what's going on. We got to fix you, Mike. This is this is this is crazy. This is. We got three hours. This, this, this is this is this is this is a, a disaster. Got to get JJ fitted up. What's wrong? The antenna? Put it in the pocket. Are we still live? Never so live. You didn't cut this part? Maybe it's the mic. Maybe it's the mic. No. <laughs> get in there. Hold on. Take a tea. Hold on. We got a tea here. It's not the best start. I'll say that wasn't the best start. Ryan told me I did a good job with my mic. Anyway, oh, are we clear? Oh, okay. we're clear. Okay, listen, okay. we got a lot to go over tonight. We have some PowerPoints. We got trivia. We got punishments. We got live callers all night long. First up, with 30 electoral votes, four in a red. There we go. Vermont, blue. New Jersey with blue. Illinois. There you go. Indiana with 11. Kentucky, red. Tennessee, red, red. Delaware. Oh, right. little, little little guy. Guy. Yep. Never matter. Rhode Island blue with four. We're the first to call it Connecticut blue. Then we got Oklahoma, seven. Red. Arkansas, deep red. We'll call California already with 54. Call it blue. Call New York blue. West Virginia's red. I love it though. Jerry's calling them early. Fast and loose. This is the Electoral College by Jersey Jerry. Now, what is the Electoral College? Before this stream? I knew about it, but I, I didn't know too much about it. The Electoral College is not a physical place. If you want to be the President of the United States of America, this is a must. Secure 270 electoral votes to win the election out of 538 at stake. This is the number, 270. Hey, 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 hey. Unbelievable, Unbelievable. Oh, that was like a fun stream. Gotta go to work. Just took a pee. I took a quick poop. It's season seven, week 10 of the number one sports gambling entertainment show in the world, Barstool Sports Advisors. And we have the exact crew, the legendary crew. Really, Tommy Smokes is the glue and the brains of the operation. Tommy's back, but we have so many winners. It's so intense. I want to congratulate my ex casino host and still lifelong friend, Donald Trump, for winning the presidential <laughs> election and bitch slapping Kamala Harris like no one has ever bitch slapped their fucking opponent. I feel good. Oh, feel good. Mistake. Late night, but feel great oh, today. Critical mistake. It's a great day. It's a great day to be an American. And I'm not political, and I know nothing about politics besides any of these politicians. If I fuck their girl, they would fucking know what they've been missing, and they would say, thank you, Stu, now I know what all the fuss is about, okay? What's up, guys? Jerry? Dan, I love you, God bless you, may God bless you. Legendary show, A++ performance. I had to show off like an 18 year old high school kid trying to go after the prom queen. Although my wife was the prom queen. Third price prom queen, I should say. A must see show. Uh, um, even if you hate me, even if you hate Jews, even if you hate New Yorkers, even if you hate fat short people, and again, of course, if I was two inches short, I'd be perfectly round, you're gonna love the show. Mincy is not gonna love the show because I shredded and torched him, but you're gonna love the show. I love you, God bless you. Remember, be great, take no shit from no one, you're never overmatched, and as always, my salvo, my saying thought, if I fucked your girl, she'd know what she's been missing. Bye-bye. No, Tate's a scumbag. Called me out in the goddamn company email. Wait, what? He was like, we can't limp to the finish line of stool streams with Malasecond intern Jacob, no offense. Fuck you, Tate. Tate's a fucking unathletic pussy loser. Like, why do I have to get name dropped? Why is it always fucking me, when all I do is fucking care and try? All I do is love Tate, and all he does is fucking shit on me. I'll never make Tate a graphic ever again. Am I intern Jacob level to you? I literally Are we said, on the same level playing field here? I'm you started this. What the fuck did I do to you? First of all, I said no offense. Uh, offense taken. If that sentence had not been in the email, would it have come across as effective? Yes or no? That was a dig that you decided to put in there for no reason. True or false? 
I took out. True or false? Answer me. Yes. Yes. But I originally had chosen two different people, and I changed it. You didn't have to put but anybody I, in but there. I changed it to someone that I thought would be like. Ah. <laughs> Apparently, I was wrong. I went and told intern Jacob about it beforehand because I thought he might get offended. I did not tell you about it because I was sure. I was sure that you wouldn't care. What do you get out of that sentence? I left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're being an asshole. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. You know what? No this more is, graphics. This is a tough no more look. clips. He's mad about. You're cut off. Like, You're cut off. You're cut off. That's Ohio crazy. State Mount High Grass. Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> Very good to see you. Hey. Uh, What's up? How are you? Good. How are you? Are you to uh, stop here? Yeah, I have a show tonight. You will never is... ever get anything from me ever again. You are officially cut off. That's ever. The biggest overreaction. Oh, there's no upstairs. Yeah, there's upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go check that out. I said no offense. We can't have Jake in it. God for fucking bit. I TV love you, the TV, and they love me. <laughs> I might even shun you. You might be shunned forever. Stanton's office. Oh, oh sick. I think you're overreacting. I. What's up? What's up, man? How, How you doing? doing? I get asked to fill in when nobody wants to do this thing, and then when I do them, I get fucking made fun of and added to emails as the butt of a joke. Yeah, I'm true. I was wondering. I was wondering what the vibes were in here. Yeah. If I was name dropped, I'd been like, yeah, I should not be on on camera playing disc golf against Che. That's your guy. That's my guy. You're a big White Sox Dave guy. Hell yeah. I thought it was a great email by Tate. Velcro Please wall. Did you see that? No, I didn't catch that. He went that. to a fair and put on the suit to jump into a Velcro wall. <laughs> his face just starts gushing blood. He hit his face <laughs> on it. I think this may be a little bit of you think you're like a bigger star. No! Yeah. Yeah. That's not my point. I'm crashing out. Yo, man. I'm not. I heard the news. I'm yelling at one person. I heard the he news. He knows who man. he is, well, and he's dead to me forever. Really it's heard there's been two crash outs in two days. It's, they're not crash outs. Dude, this is this is this is no, we well too much. Boy. I'm we great. I'm just fine. You're a guy. We, I don't. I want it on the record. I am just fine. I'm not cutting ties with Tate, but I will if you need me to. No, I mean you guys can do whatever you want. He's dead to me. I'm I'm riding with my guy here. What happened with Tate? Honestly, nothing, <laughs> but <laughs> I'll be in the meeting room. It's, it's about uh, respect. Let's go, let's really. go. Yeah, I'm so confused. Jacob, Jacob was mentioned in the same breath. How are you? Jacob, I'm okay. Still, okay. What did Tate say? Is Jake actually Do you read your emails? No. So my inclusion was clearly a joke, but I think Jake Malisek did not take it as a joke, so I don't know. Oh, shit.